right, everybody, how's it going? New H here with some more showdown ladder and sessions. I know it's been a while. Very sorry. Uh, I just got done moving for the most part. Um, I ended up not having internet at my place, so that really sucked. Um, but now I'm pretty sure we're good. We're chilling. It's all uphill, downhill. Uphill sounds optimistic, but harder. Downhill sounds easy, so it's all downhill from here. <laughs> Anyways, um, one thing I wanted to say real quick is Pokemon of the Week is not going to be a thing for a little bit because I'm pretty sure Pokemon of the Week is doing sets from Oras OU still. Not like Sun and Moon. I don't know. I haven't looked into it yet. If they do start doing Sun and Moon, um, tier format Pokemon of the week sets then I will start using it again but until then um, I won't be doing Pokemon of the week because I don't want to play in or SOU anymore I want to play in gen 7 OU so uh, that's what we're gonna do I am in the process of trying to make some of my own teams but for now I'm just using teams that I've gotten uh, from the web and such so this time around we got choice specs Tapu Lele set nice and powerful I mean you can see all that it is I don't know exactly what everything does but pretty standard looks like choice spec special attacker life orb SD sheer force for alligator another reason I wanted to use this set was mega metagross getting to abuse its new speed upon mega evolution so base 350 right off the bat not bad and it's you know the old sets that I like I like this one even though Pursuit is really good, but it's chill. Um, we got Mandibuzz, Defog Mandibuzz. We got Alolan Marowak, Leftovers Lightning Rod. Alolan Marowak is so fun to use. It can like switch in on so many things. It's so cool. Um, then with like Will-O-Wisp and then the usual like coverage and all that good stuff. And then we got a Stealth Rock Life Orb, Mammoth Swine. So some new mix with the old. Um, I'm going to be easing into it for now. Just wanted to use something that I figured would be decent on like the lower uh, tier. I've battled a few times in this tier, but not really too much to be laddering. So uh, let's let's give it a shot. Let's find us some games. So here we are, the first game of <laughs> Gen 7 OU, and it looks like this is stall or some kind of pass team. I don't even know what to call this. This is weird. Um. I kind of want to lead with Mandibuzz because Samirgo can't put me to sleep. I like that. Because it doesn't get Dark Void now. Throw on the timer. Um, and just go for a foul play. As he's ingrained now, so he can't switch. Um, and we have broken any... Uh... See, I don't like that he went for that. I'm going to go for U-turn now. Okay, cool. He's going to Sticky Web. Well, actually, not too cool because now he'll be faster. Um, I'm actually going to go out into Metagross because I won't get the speed drop from Clear Body. And I will be faster because of our Mega Evolution right off the bat. And, oh, server restarting soon. What? And as far as I know, he doesn't really have a switch to a Meteor Mash. So we're going for that and that'll knock out Smeargle. Hey! So we got rid of Smeargle without really having to worry about anything. Not too bad. That's the way I like to get rid of some goals. And he's gonna forfeit. Nice, easy peasy first game. I was a little sad actually. But hey, a win's a win, we take it. Let's move on to the next one. All right, we got another game. This team looks pretty cool. Alolan Persian. I haven't battled against that yet. Hmm. This team kind of scares me actually. And a Dragonite and a Lurantis. I feel like Lurantis only does one thing. Alright. <clears throat> uh, I feel like he might lead with Meowth, or he might lead with Lurantis, depending on what it gets. Otherwise, I'm thinking maybe Marowak? I don't know. I kind of have no idea. Um, let's see. But I'm kind of feeling Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz in a U-turn? Possibly. I don't want to just have Persian out there like that. Yeah, let's lead. Let's lead Mandibuzz as he does lead 
with Persian, which is nice. Um, my team is actually somewhat weak to dark, so... Um, I'm just gonna go for a U-turn right away. He's just gonna fake out, get that going, and we're back at full health, basically, so... Now we U-turn out. I don't know what a lot of these things do. I know things that they maybe could do, but I don't know what they will do. So he's actually going to switch out here and we're going to get some initiative, so that'll be cool. He's going to go out into the Age Slash. And let's see. There's a good answer for that. Not really Marowak if he's like special. Wow, my this team is pretty weak to Age Slash too. That's kind of bad. Um, hmm. Let's see, how much does for alligator? For alligator. Do age slash do where's earthquake? Earthquake at plus two. And the shield form can almost knock it out actually. And it can't do too much to me, so we're gonna go out into this and I'm thinking go for SD. As he's just gonna attack me right off the bat with the Shadow Ball, it's fine. Um, and I'm gonna go for Earthquake here and that's okay. Okay. I guess it's just gonna let me knock him out. Well, that was cool. Um, and he for what, what? <laughs> he was like, oh bro, didn't see that coming. All right, well. For alligator work, I guess. Next game. All right, we got another game. Uh, Sticky web and a Toxapex. He's also got a pal of sand, which is cool. Tapu Lele themselves, and a Cartana, and a Nihil Nihiligo. Nihiligo? Nihiligo. Um, so I'm assuming he's gonna lead with the Sticky web, right? That's that's the thing that these Pokemon do. Um, hmm. I don't think I'll get up my rocks yet because. Actually, I kind of do want to lead with Mammoth Swine, though. What type is this? I wish it would show. This team is actually fairly weak to Mammoth Swine, I think, so I don't know if I want to lead with it uh, right off the bat. Hmm. I do have Boomerang on Marowak. I'll leave with that. I don't really think it. Knocks out Ariados, just because I don't have my Thick Club. So my attack is not astounding or anything, but I didn't want to get up my rocks now because I am just going to end up defogging once Ariados is gone, so I'll make that happen. We'll go for, oh my gosh, that does nothing. What? Okay. Well, I guess I'll go Flare Blitz now. At least we knock it out without it actually like damaging us so that's cool and we can get rid of these at any time sticky web is kind of nice because like metagross isn't affected by it before it mega evolves and neither is mandibuzz i also don't know what this wants to do but i feel like i could just go mandibuzz right i resist ghost i'm immune to ground so his stab is not an issue at least so we'll go into mandibuzz and i think i'll just go for a defog right off the bat get rid of the sticky web so i don't even have to worry about him anymore as he's gonna sludge bomb and doesn't poison me, cool. So, that being said, um, hmm, sludge bomb, shadow ball. Might go into mammoth swine. I don't really, I mean, I do have other things for like Toxapex and stuff. I, I have other ground type users, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, I'm gonna go for U turn here. As this thing maxes out at 335, it's four times weak to ground, so I'm assuming that Metagross will be able to knock this thing out. Let's see. Nihilego. Its HP is good, but its defense is bad, so we're definitely going Metagross here and knocking him out. We get the fast Mega Evolve, and we go for the Earthquake that's four times effective. And he doesn't have a switch for Earthquake, as far as I could tell. So, I mean, he he does, but nothing that's immune to it. So, that is a good thing.
and we will get the speed even if this thing is like scarfed or something both of its stabs don't really affect me i'm immune to poison and i resist rocks so we're doing we're doing good things with the initiative here let's go metagross let's abuse this new speed we got and show it to him I haven't really gotten to use Tapu Lele yet. Granted, everyone's just forfeited so far, so. But, you know. Potato Blaster, my man. I think he's he's sticking it out till the end. Until this thing gets one-shotted, then he might have, you know, a different idea in mind. As he's going to withdraw, go out into his pile of sand. <laughs> and, you know, I'll just switch, I guess, into something. I mean, I still have Mandibuzz, like, Mandibuzz is, Mandibuzz is the key, Mandibuzz is the answer. Um, I would go Tapu Lele so I can't get poisoned, but I'm just gonna foul play. I really feel like U-turn is my better option. Yeah, I'm just gonna U-turn again. Keep up that momentum. So he's gonna go on to Tox Effects. The thing is, Pile of Sand can't keep switching in, you know? Um, and I think I might go Tapu Lele, actually. He, he doesn't really have any resist, and we can make it so we can't get poisoned or burned and all that good stuff. Or is that? No, that's the fairy one, not uh, the psychic one. My B, I was getting them mixed up. But nothing wants to come in on a psychic. Boy, I'll tell you. Other than his own Tapu Lele, but even then, that is not an answer, my friend. Am I max speed? Did he just forfeit? Oh, okay. Um, don't look at my teams. <laughs> I don't care if you look at my teams. I'm not max speed, but he shouldn't be able to knock me out, so. Oh my gosh, that did so much, dude! Jeez. We got rid of his own Tapu Lele, so that's nice. And we are faster than a lot of his team. Um, and if he thinks I'm just gonna let him go into Kartana and revenge kill me, he got another thing coming! Um, I don't know what this learns. Grass and steel, though. I feel like Mandibuzz is, uh, answer. Let's go out into that. Let's see. Smart Strike. Oh! Oh, baby! Um, I think I want a U-turn now. What does Smart Strike do? Hello? What is Smart Strike? I was confusing that with first impression, my bad. So, Smart Strike, Steel type, okay, base 70. And never misses. Alright, good to know. Um, you are Grass and Steel. Hmm. That is a weird typing. But I feel like Mandibuzz. Or, sorry, Marowak is solid here, so. Let's go out into that and fire off a... I actually want a Will-O-Wisp. I like that better. Um, it'll start to whittle anything, and if he stays in, you know, he gets burned, so... I would not mind burning this thing. Um, And I think anything else he goes out into, I'm just going to pivot into Mandibuzz, and then go back out into Tapu Lele. So he's gonna go back into his pile of sand here. I actually really want to see how much Shadow Bone does, but I really don't need to. I have Amanda Buzz, and I can get more health as he's gonna double. Oh my plays! We still have a Metagross though, which he does not have answers for. For the most part. So we'll see what he wants to do here. There you go. He's he's learning about that prediction game, you feel? So maybe we'll have to start making some predictions of our own. Otherwise we got some pretty solid walls on our team. So he's gonna go for power jet. Oh my gosh. Life orb, okay. Um I still think it's my best play. I guess I'll go for Zen Headbutt. Um, that'll hit Pile of Sand if it wants to come in. And should knock this out. Yeah, because it's still weak to Psychic. So, 
We're chilling. Uh, the only thing I guess I'm really worried about still is Cartana. I don't know what it gets. I mean, I guess let's take a look. Cartana. Hello. Oh, he forfeited. Okay, well, what does Cartana learn? Ooh. Ooh. This guy's moveset is cool. Um, nothing too scary, though. Some bug stab, some grass stab. Well, bug, it's not bug stab, but... Doesn't learn very many steel moves for a steel Pokemon. Kind of weird. It's more like flying, fighting, grass, bug. Anyways, not bad. Got to see a little bit of the squad. Let's, let's get us another game. Alright, we got another one. This guy's got Delmize. I want to use that too. Uh, other than that, what is this? Like a stall team? With a Dragonite? I guess he can keep healing his Dragonite. I, otherwise, I don't know what else he does. I mean, I think he's got Chansey and stuff. Like these things for like wish support and like status healing. This to be bulky. This for like rocks maybe. And this to be something bulky too. And then a Dragonite. I don't know what he's leading with. Maybe a Nihil Nihil logo. Um, let's see. I kind of want to lead with Metagross. I feel like Metagross matches up well against everything other than Vaporeon, which I'm hoping he wouldn't lead with. So he's he's going to lead with Toxapex, um, which can burn me. Hmm. Something to consider. I mean, how much does this do? Like, Mega Metagross, boy? I know Toxapex is like, very strong though, so. I wouldn't put it past him. Uh, Zen Headbutt to a max HP, max defense. Wow, that does a lot, actually. Kinda almost worth the risk. Kind of. Uh, let's go for it. Damage. Big boy, let's see it. He might even go for Toxic Spike. Yep, expecting me to switch. And now he does not have a switch for this. Yeah, he does not. So catch this Iron Head. You can't, or Zen Head, but my bad. And you can't poison me, bro. Yeah, he really doesn't have a switch for this, so. Actually. Well, Delmize is part. No, it's not. It's Ghost and Grass. That's right. I keep thinking it's Steel. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go for another one. Yeah, as that's what he does decide to go out into, but even that doesn't take it well. Um, it can hit me with a Grass move, but... I don't know. The amount of damage that I'm doing here is kind of crazy. But maybe I should just take it easy. Play it smart, you know? Actually, you know what? Nah. I'm just gonna keep up this offensive pressure because actually let's see Delmize I want to see how much like Meteor Mash and stuff does what is this set that they gave me alright Meteor Mash Thin Headbutt it's quick so let's see, Zen Headbutt, Meteor Mash actually does more, so let's go for that, because we can get an Attack Raise. And he's going to Shadow Claw, it's going to do a decent amount. Um, and he's going to Protect again, but he does keep giving me the potential to get an Attack Boost. And if that happens, oh, we might just be sweeping with Metagross. There's more Metagross Showcase. <laughs> Putting in the biz new. Send something else out to take a Meteor Mash. You know what? I'm going to switch to Zen Headbutt in case he goes Vaporeon. I don't know how much that'll do, but... More than Meteor Mash, that's for sure. So Zen Headbutt will do over half to... Whatever spread this is. What the hell? Oh, that's offensive. But whatever. He is going to go Vaporeon. 
We're gonna go Meteor Mash and A. Now he has no switches into anything. So, uh, yeah. Let's see the rest of your team die, friend. Dragonite, boy! Oh, wow. What the hell? What the hell kind of Dragonite is this? Dragonite takes... Freaking Zen Headbutt better than a Vaporeon? What? 22%? What the heck? What the heck kind of Dragonite am I facing? Zen Headbutt max HP max defense? Dragonite? Hello? I'm very concerned. Toad's very concerned. Um, well I know he doesn't have max speed then, so we definitely have speed. I think I'm gonna go Mandibuzz and then U-turn. I just wanted to see what he was gonna do. Um, cause I had to keep up the offensive pressure just because he can wish pass into a lot of his things and has regenerator and all that stuff. So I'm not gonna give him an opportunity to do that. <clears throat> I see he's gonna go out into this big boy. And uh, I believe we can just go back into Metagross now. And fire off a... Jesus, that did so little. Um, Meteor Mash should knock this thing out though, so I'm going for that. Oh, apparently that's the switch now, boy. Why did that do- Oh, multi-scale, that's right. Okay, well now this will kill. Actually, eh, I don't want to risk the roll. Meteor Mash- Oh, actually Meteor Mash is stronger. What am I thinking? Alright, well get out of here, Dragonite. And this dude's whole team gets swept by Metagross. I was like, how did that do so little? Completely forgot about multi-scale, but yeah. Dies Zen Headbutt, Meteor Mash, Zen Headbutt, uh, Meteor Mash, or anything. And then all that's left is a Chansey against six Pokemon. And that does not win games. Yo. I, <laughs> I feel kind of bad. Metagross is pulling through. I'm just going to use Metagross. Alright, let's get another game. Yeah, I wanted to try and use something more hyper offensive in the lower ladder. Uh, just to try and get through as many of these as I could. But this dude bring in all kinds of threats. Nothing but Gen 7 on this man's team. Why do I feel like I'm losing this game? I also feel like Tapu Lele puts in the business a little bit. Maybe if I could weaken everything. Alright, so what gets rid of hazards on his team? I don't like to lead with my hazards for some reason. Just because I have defog, so I'd rather wait till later. Um, that being said, he has Tapu Fanny, the water type. Um, hmm. I feel like I'm also really weak to Tapu Fanny. That's the one with Misty Train, though, I think. The fairy terrain. Um, I don't know why I really want to lead with for alligator, but I feel like that's a mistake. If I don't know what I want to lead with, what's good against Tapu Finny? Should we just lead Tapu Lele? Uh, I feel like Tapu Lele does way too good against this team. I don't even have Aqua Jet. Let's lead with for alligator. <laughs> As he is going to lead with Tapu Fini. I don't think I'm faster than this. Okay, we are. That scares me, though. Ugh. Damage. Okay. So now the question is, what do I go for here? For alligator against Tapu Fini. Fien <laughs> what just came out of my mouth? Alright, plus two. Waterfall. Ice Punch. How about Earthquake? Alright, looks like Earthquake does the most. A little over half on a roll. Okay, you know, damage. Clean, and since it's not max speed, um, Tapu Lele can come in and just revenge kill it, I guess. Actually, so can Metagross. But I feel like that lets him bring out other Pokemon, so... We'll just go into Tapu Lele, 
Um, I feel like Moonblast is definitely my best option. Because he has so many... Yeah, I'm going for Moonblast. His team is a lot more weak to Moonblast. Uh, I feel like he will go Magyarna. He could, yeah. Which I don't think would have taken a Psychic well. He does get to shift gear here, which kind of scares me. Um, Steel Fairy, huh? Not bad. And I guess I just have to go... Oh, I can't burn him either. Gotta keep that in mind. Um... Ew. Maybe I'll just go Marowak and try and nuke him. Unless he goes for sub. As he doubles into Guzzlord. Okay. Dark Dragon. Dark Dragon, huh? <laughs> That's all I have to say about everything. Uh-huh, uh huh Guzzlord. What do you learn? Okay. So you got some dark moves, I see. You got some dark and some dragon. It's crazy, I never would have guessed. Um, I know this thing's HP is ridiculous. Let's go into Mandibus, I guess. Why is this man doubling like a madman? Oh, and he just got the train back up again. 196? How fast was Freligator? 280? Oh, yeah. If anything, he's just like modest, not a... Uh, yeah, you know. You know what I'm saying. Um, I feel like he might go for like Scald or something. I don't think he's going for a fairy move. I'm just gonna U-turn. He's gonna taunt. Sweet. That was like... The best. That could have worked out for me. Um... I actually kind of want to test him a bit. Um, and I want to go for the Psychic. Hoping he doesn't go into Guzzlord. Actually, you know what? I want to Moonblast again. Yep. Get it! Gone. Yeah, this guy is switching way too much for me to not predict him like that. Uh, so once again, I'm just going to go into Marowak. Just flare blitz the crap out of this dude. There's one kill for Tapu Lala. So we got Necro Necrozma. Weakens, uh, yeah, super effective moves, I believe, with its ability. Let's see, Marowak. And Necrozma. I don't even know. It doesn't have a thick club though, so let's get rid of that. Looks like Shadow Bond does a lot. Um, I think these things run HP though. I don't know. I don't know what they run. Let's see, if he is max defensive though. I mean, Shadow Bond will still do a decent amount. Or should I go into Mandibuzz? Let's see, what does Necrozma get? Number 800, oh this thing looks scary. Um, mostly Psychic, it does get some rock moves. Actually, it gets a lot of rock moves. What is this? What are all these rock moves? So it looks like it's Psychic and Rock, mostly. Um, I really want to go Mandibuzz, I guess. Hoping a rock move doesn't come out. Oh no, it was a rock move! I'm just gonna defog right away. I mean, I could U-turn on him, but I don't want to deal with any of these hazards. As he's gonna bring out Tapu Fini, and instead of taunting, he's definitely gonna go for the fairy move this time. Uh, so I think now I'm gonna try and go into Metagross and hope he doesn't go for Scald and burn me. Actually, he can't burn me because of the Misty Train, so let's catch this Moonblast. Not bad. And now, let's see. Let's see. Tapu Fini has pretty good defense. Metagross. 
Mega Metagross. Um, so yeah, max HP. Yeah, something like that. Kind of offensive. Doesn't look like we knock him out. Actually, Iron Head. No, not Draco Meteor. Meteor Mash. Meteor Mash can knock him out. I think I'm gonna go for it. As he goes into Necrozma, so that's not bad. Let's see. Ooh, that is some nice damage. And this get, this thing does get knocked out. Um, I think I wanna go for Earthquake. I think that's my best option here for like Marowak. Marowak doesn't resist this though. I believe. Oh, he does resist it. Yeah, so Zen Headbutt is my best option here. As he stays in, okay, to get up the rocks. All right, we're gonna Meteor Mash now. Get rid of this thing so rocks are gone. Um, so Marowak definitely lives, I'm pretty sure. An earthquake. Yeah, for sure. Uh, side note. Max attack with a thick club. Flare Blitz does not knock me out. Actually, from this point it does. Um, I kind of want to go Mandibuzz, but I kind of don't. I kind of want to sack my Marowak, but that's good against uh, Faramosa, so I can't spam moves against me. Because I feel like a ghost move is coming, but he could go for a fire move too. 284. You know, I think I just want to go Mammoth Swine. We do have Thick Fat for if he goes for a fire move. Yeah, so we still live it. And uh, we can just go for Earthquake here. I don't think anything wants to take Earthquake. Yeah. So we can knock out this Marowak, and we actually still live. So that's kind of cool, because I'm pretty sure we outspeed most things. Actually, you might go into Feromosa trying to pick up the kill. But... I don't think that's right. Because if I switch out into Marowak and he goes for high jump kick, that's not going to work. Um... But I feel like he might predict that and try and double. You know, I'm just gonna go. Yep, he did do it. I was just gonna go Marowak. But now, I can just sack my Mammoth Swine. I knew I should have done it. He's been predicting way too much. That's all he does. And that's not good. That's how you lose, yo. Um, but, our Tapu Lele is faster. And I don't really see a Psychic Resist on his team anymore. So, we're going for Psychic. And we get rid of his Misty Terrain. Yeah, he has nothing. Even Magyarn is not going to take this that well. And as long as we keep Marowak, I'm pretty sure we can beat Faramosa. A... A, let's get it. Yeah. Alright, go into Magyarna. Do not take that well, my friend. Um I don't mm, I don't want the shift gear in my face. But also we do have bullet punch, which I'm pretty sure can revenge kill it. So let's go for psychic. As he's gonna flash cannon that will knock me out. And he does have the soul heart going on. Um, he's not scarfed, is he? I'm gonna bullet punch anyways. Oh! <gasps> Yo! Psychic terrain! Oh my gosh! I just lost. Well, I would have been faster too, because he wasn't scarfed. Yep. GG. Totally just threw the game. And I would have won too. I'm gonna say that too. <laughs> oh, get wrecked. That's foul play. Yeah, no, I definitely would have won because 
Metagross would have knocked that out, and I'm pretty sure I'm faster than Feromosa. And even if I'm not, I still had, uh... I still had Marowak. What? Oh. Nah. I had Marowak, yo. And Mandibuzz. Nah, nah. I don't know. Then wouldn't... Yeah, the Metagross would live. What? Okay. Nah, nah. Nah. He, he just talking that good good. We definitely had him in that one. Alright, but let's find another one. It's chill though. I actually expected to lose a lot more, which I'm sure we will once we get higher up on the ladder. Just because, you know, it's all a learning experience. Um, and he's got a Zerka tree. And a Minior! That's all I want to do is use a team with Minior. Maybe this team. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll steal this guy's team. Um, what's he going to lead with? Why does he have a random Sharpedo on his team? I feel like he's gonna lead with like Marowak or something. I wanna lead with for alligator. I don't know why that's my lead. Oh my gosh, he led circuitry. Um Why do I not have a oh wait, I have a Marowak. It's like why do I not have a switch for this? Oh wait, I do. <laughs> um I'm gonna will o wisp. <coughs> Especially if he's choiced. Get out of here, bruh. Bruh. Get out of here, bruh. Um, what do I do now? I mean, I don't want him to burn me. It's definitely a thing I don't want. Um, I mean, I do have Tapu Lele. He does have a psychic immunity. But I feel like Sharpedo is much less of a threat. Yeah, let's go into Tapu Lele. And then I get I get swept by Sharpedo. Oh yeah, we're definitely going for this Psychic. JK, we're going for Moonblast! Ah, I get predicted! Ah! <laughs> ah, easiest Moonblast of me life. Alright, and then, what does Zerkertree learn? Because there's no way he's going for an electric move again, so what does he have to hit this? He doesn't have anything to hit this, he has to go for an electric move. I'm going into Marowak. Oh, he doubled! Um, he is protected from status as well. But, I know from previous experience, well, actually, I don't know that for sure, but, uh, Metagross kind of handles this man? I don't know. Do I? Maybe not if he has Earthquake. Kind of scared. Yo, we're a Metagross. Let's go. Ah, get out of here. I was like, this dude is just base 120. And we are a Mega Metagross. We don't play no games, bro. See, this is why Minior is a, not easy for me to use because it loses to this beautiful creature. I feel like Metagross has to go on the on the the the, the on the logo on the on the title on the thumbnail. <laughs> that is the word I was looking for. Um, going for a fire move, bruh? Kinda wanna go into for alligator. 
Just to be safe, and I feel like it does nothing. Yeah, it does nothing this game, is what I meant. And... I think I may go for an Ice Punch. How fast is Tapu Bulu? Tapu Bulu! You are a whopping 75. Oh, I should use this. For alligator? Ooh, I'm faster? Possibly. Am I jolly? Yep, I'm faster. So I can kind of afford to go for SD. I'm gonna try it. Oh no! Ooh! Boy! We living! Okay, well. <clears throat> let's beat your whole team now. Other than Zerkatry. Ooh, dead. All right, so Zerkatry could come out now. That's that's the problem. Know what I've noticed in this life? I knock out so many Pokemon before they even knock out one of my Pokemon. We're going for Ice Punch. We're faster than you, bro. Ah, gone. That crit did not matter. Ooh, Grassy Terrain giving us HP. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, how much does Earthquake do to a Toxapex? You feel? Plus two. I'm not adamant though. I'm jolly. Now oh, he forfeited. Damn it! Wait, I didn't get to see the damage. Earthquake does not knock him out, but he wasn't gonna beat me with a choice locked circuitry. But I had two ground types and everything else weak to electric. <laughs> oh, let's get one more game. Hey, uh, sand. This is this a sand team? Ooh, I like this team. Um, who do I lead with? I really want to get up my rocks this time around. But I know that this boy getting up rocks first. I'm going to lead with Marowak. We're burning this Gigalith. Wait, are we burning it though? Or is he going to go out in a shandy? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I really want to predict him to go out in a shandy. All right, you know what, guys? I'm gonna tell you right now. I want to go for Will O Wisp to burn this so it doesn't. Oh wait, it doesn't get sturdy. I still want to burn this because having it weakened will be really nice and lowering its HP and all that stuff. But your boy feels in his gut. A Shadow Bone is the play to make. Damn it, see? So you knew. You were my witness. That's what would have happened. Right, I'm gonna go for it now, and then I'm gonna be wrong. And then I'm gonna hate myself. Let's see it happen. I swear, if this guy goes into Shandy now. Don't go into Shandy now! I swear. I mean... Yeah, that, that kinda suck. Yo, hurry up, bro. Make your decision. Got a timer running down. Alright, at least we burned him. He's got toxic me. Hello? Okay. Um. Alright, well. Does this thing even have rocks? What's going on? <laughs> Um, all right, I'm gonna go Mammoth Swine. Ooh, ooh, the speed tie, but I don't think you knocked me out with anything, so I'm an earthquake. Actually, um, yeah, I'm gonna earthquake because if he switches, then I can get up rocks. I'm gonna get up rocks. I lied, JK. That thing is not, honestly, my biggest concern, so. Um. I guess I don't need to sack Marowak, because his team is somewhat slow, so I can always get another hit off at some point. But for now. 
kind of want to go into Tapu Lala. I mean, he does have a Metagross. I just don't want him to burn me. Tapu Lala it is! Tapu Lala! Let's see what you got. Ah, toxic spikes. <laughs> All right. So this is the easiest Metagross play of his life. We're going for Shadow Ball. We're going for Shadow Ball. I mean, a lot of his team is fairly weak to Shadow Ball too. Like, you know, like this. This is weak to Shadow Ball. Hey, gone. There you go. That's another Pokemon down. What they call him. A dead perk man. Oh, and he disconnected. Well, you know, that's that's what it's about, you know? The the lower tier, they get predicted once and then they're like, nope, I'm out, deuces. Even though I tried to, oh, his name is Must Be Hacks. He must have been getting hacked a lot. Tragic past. Um, well, I don't think he's gonna come back, but the team was actually a lot of fun. Mandibuzz was a cool pivot. Um, Marowak didn't do too much, but it was nice to have the option to go into it, like pivoting from Mandibuzz. Um, Mamoswine just kind of did it, its thing, put in some work. For Alligator was actually a fun, like scary Pokemon for people to play against just because it's like, I felt like it got decent amount of time to come in with the slow Mandibuzz and then it's like, if you switch out, you're getting Swords Dance on. And the cool thing about For Alligator now is this meta with 7th Gen, a lot of the Pokemon are really slow. So, like, older Pokemon like For Alligator who weren't really fast in, like, the current meta get to be faster now and can actually be threats and, like, sweep and stuff against a lot of these, like, newer teams that rely on, like, the newer, slower Pokemon. Uh, Tapu Lele definitely nice and powerful some hard hits loved it that shadow ball hella nice psychic just powering through the teams even that moon blast on ghost lord <laughs> that was hilarious and metagross i love you dude getting the getting those speeds going instantly oh works so much better i love it so much i love it so much metagross putting a ton of work and uh must be hexed just dipped so that's gonna be the live right there um like i said i'm back in my place so or in my new place now so i should be good to start uploading more um sun and moon showdown lives all that good stuff for you guys so keep an eye out for that it's gonna be coming to the channel more frequently once again so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like share comment all that good stuff and until then i'm new age still keep on watching see you guys next time Later.